Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Brittany Hughes. You're watching MRC TV, and this is your reality check. So did you hear? Donald Trump and company are going to drag America back to some apocalyptic pre-Civil War plantation era where women can't vote and black people can't own themselves. Or at least that's according to the left-wing media. Trump started hiring people for the White House this week, including Breitbart boss Steve Bannon, who will serve as his chief strategist. And the media wasted exactly zero time slamming Trump and Bannon as racist, sexist bigots, along, of course, with the 60 million voters who've apparently decided out of the blue that they don't like black people, women, or Jews. So to all of you out there in the media who've suddenly decided that you give a rip about ethics and morality, here's my response. Just shut up. This is why Americans are sick of you, and it's why your ratings are in the toilet. They're sick of left-wing journalists pointing their almighty finger at conservatives whenever they scratch their nose wrong, while totally ignoring liberals who spew all kinds of filthy, nasty mess. The Clintons have lined their pockets with millions from Middle Eastern countries that stone gay people and deny women basic rights. And somehow Hillary is still a feminist LGBT champion. Huma Abedin's family published a radical Muslim magazine that promoted Sharia law and advocated against women's rights, and Huma Abedin's name was listed as an editor on it for years. And you never batted an eyelash. But dear Lord, you managed to track down one of the last remaining morons running around in a white hood and get him to say he voted for Donald Trump, and somehow that turns a guy with absolutely no proven history of racism into the biggest hood-wearing, cross-burning, lynch-rope-tying bigot in the history of the world. And there's the media fanning themselves like old southern ladies who suddenly come down with the vapors. Where were you back in 2008 when Obama was sitting in a church listening to Jeremiah Wright spew his hatred against America, saying that nearly 3,000 Americans deserve to die in 9-11 because we somehow asked for it? This is a guy who screamed goddamn America from the pulpit and blasted white people en masse, and Barack Obama sat in his church for years, and you fell all over yourselves to defend him. Where were you back just a few months ago when the Clinton camp was caught mocking Catholics for being backwards and questioning whether Bernie Sanders is a real Jew? Didn't hear that on the evening news. You are the same shamelessly biased reporters who will spend weeks calling out Trump for an 11-year-old comment about grabbing women by the genitals, but you'll completely ignore Madonna saying that she'll give a blowjob to anybody who votes for Hillary Clinton, which, by the way, probably explains why Clinton lost. Lena Dunham can admit that she molested her own sister, and that's perfectly fine. Oh, but yeah, Trump is a danger to women. You want to call out somebody for being an idiot and saying something vile? Well, the last time I checked, that proverbial highway has two open lanes, and the left one is looking pretty empty. You just spent the last eight years defending a president who actively incites racial divides and thinks terrorists are just climate change victims with employment problems. Yeah, it matters who Trump surrounds himself with. It matters that they have principles and ethics. But you do not get to point a finger at anyone in the Trump camp when you have done nothing but ignore the left's lies, race baiting, Christian bashing, and open deception for years. So consider this your invitation to shut up. And that's your reality check, America. Stay sane out there. And remember, do not believe the liberal media. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, check out more on our YouTube page or at MRCTV.org. As always, make sure that you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.